Lookup and H Lookup. Ito yung pinaka-popular na question sa akin, itong VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. And to be honest with you, itong VLOOKUP, eh, hindi ko siya madalas magamit. And I'll let you know later kung bakit. Okay? Okay, so, what is VLOOKUP? So, sabi niya, VLOOKUP function scans down the row headings at the side of a table to find a spe specified item. So, when the item is found, it then scans across the biggest cell entry. So, let's say for this one, okay? We want to look for February um, and then column 4. So, let's say ito, 100. Okay, so gusto natin, ang maging output natin is itong February and then itong uh, column 4 or yung third column after yung first. Okay, so let's say VLOOKUP. Okay. Ano yung gusto nating makuha? Right? Ang gusto nating makuha is yung lookup value natin is February. Let's say ito. Mag-refer na lang tayo dito para mas maganda. And then yung table array natin, the entire table. Okay? And then, comma, column index. Ano yung pang, uh, pang ilang column from the left? So, from here, 1, 2, 3, Four. And gusto natin makuha is yung column 4 which is 100. That's why we're gonna refer to this one or you can type in 4 and then comma, true, approximate match, and exact match. So this time then we're gonna look for a specific or exact uh, value like February. We need to select false. And enter. So let's say 4. Kung magpapalit tayo dito, gawin natin March, and then we're gonna look for column 6. March, column 6, that's 77. Okay? So, gumagana na po automatically yung ating VLOOKUP. Okay? So, na-mention ko kanina na hindi ko siya masyado ginagamit tong VLOOKUP. Okay? So, pero pinakamadalas gamitin po to actually ng karamihan. And the very reason is that Itong VLOOKUP na to, actually pinafollow niya yung specific structure po ng ating table. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ito, ito yung ating reference table natin. Uh, yung very first column natin is uh, itong month na to. So, laging ganun po ang setup niya. So, sa VLOOKUP po kasi natin, okay, ang VLOOKUP po natin is dapat, ang pinaka leftmost uh, column po natin is yung dapat yung hinahanap nating value. Let's say, itong month na Pero what if kung ang structure ng table mo is nasa gitna, nandito po siya, yung January, February. And you want to look for this column 2. Column two. So, wala na siyang order, di ba? So, ang nangyayari po dyan, yung VLOOKUP, hindi mo na siya magamit. Alright? hindi mo na siya magamit dahil dun sa ano na yun. That's the structure niya. Okay, so siguro mag-advance lang po tayo ng konti and I'll show you how to do that. Okay? Um, sige, para hindi na lang po makonfuse, mag-focus na lang po muna tayo dito sa VLOOKUP. Again, okay, um, kung, kung medyo nagamay muna po si VLOOKUP, uh, siguro ang magagawa lang po natin uh, is to advance po yung coding natin. Pwedeng Ma, pwede nyo pong search si, ano, si index match or yung x lookup yung bago po na pero for this training we're gonna focus on the v lookup first and then yan achieve po natin yung desired output natin again paano natin siya gagawin ayan yung first value natin is yung lookup value natin ito mag refer tayo to sa cell or kung gagamitin mo is specific value just put a uh, double quote and then yung range and then kung pang ilang column kunyari 1, 2, 3, 4 kunyari 5, 6 so from the very le from the leftmost to the right kung ano yung gusto mong output kailangan mong specify and then false for exact match so sa approximate match siguro i-visitahin nyo na lang din po yung aking uh, YouTube channel um, again Meron tayong um, topic doon uh, about doon sa VLOOKUP approximate match. So, for this exercise, hindi po natin match siya magagamit. Alright? So, again, yan. Tama na po yung ating formula. 
Okay, so again, i-apply po natin yung formula. Okay? But this time, dito pala sa ating uh, exercise na to, is we're gonna look for, um, this is actually an advanced one. Uh, Two-way lookup po pala tong sample natin na to. So, Romeo, or whatever, kung ano po yung select natin dito, say Elijah, and then kung anong specific month. Okay, so for some, kasi ang one-way lookup lang laging ito yung hinahanap natin tong row, di ba? Pero this time, ang gagawin po natin is two-way lookup. Titingnan din po natin yung sa taas. Alright? So, ayan. So, but before we uh, look, okay, so, kailangan muna natin maintindihan about yung image. Okay, so, kasi para in order for us to achieve po yung ating two-way two -way lookup, we also need to understand ano po tong match na to. Okay? So, I'm, I'm gonna apply that one here. Okay, match lookup, let's say ito. And then here. Itong range nito. Enter. Ay, sorry. Ayan. And then, exact match, zero. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, itong February, from this range na sinelect ko po, uh, pangatlo po siya. Okay, so automatically, hinanap niya na. Kung natatandaan niyo po dito, we need to specify po kung anong column po yung hanapin natin. ba? So, dito sa two-way lookup, automatically, using the match function, siya na yung maghanap kung anong position or pang ilang um, cell po siya dun sa selected range po natin. So, itong February is nasa pangatlo. Okay? So, kung i-call lang po natin to from D49 to F49. So, let's say, um, uh, kasi ano, i-apply na natin dito. Sige. Equals VLOOKUP. Okay? VLOOKUP, ano po yung uh, match value natin? Okay? Ang match value po natin is ito, which is si Elijah. Okay? Tama. So, saan po natin hanapin si Elijah? Okay? Hanapin natin siya dito sa range na to. Right? Sa range na yan. And then, comma. So, if you remember na column index number, ito yung hanapin na natin kung index na to. Kung pang ilan siya. Diba? Same lang din siya din sa format natin dito. Kailangan natin specify kung anong pang ilang column po siya. So, in here, para ma-identify po natin siya, gagamit po tayo ng match. Okay? Match. Okay? We're gonna look for the lookup value, which is February. Tama. And then, lookup array. So, it depends on you kung ano po yung isa-select po natin na lookup array. So, kung isa-select natin na lookup array is from here to here. So, we need to add 1 kasi um, ano lang po siya. Um, teka lang. Or dito. Dito tayo. Kung dito tayo magsa-select. Ayan. 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 And then 0 plus 1. Ayan. Kailangan natin mag-add ng 1 and then kama exact match. Tignan natin kung mag-work. So, Elijah February, Elijah February, ayun, automatically nakuha na niya. So, let's say, papalit na natin, um, gawin natin Elaine, and then March. So, 45, Elaine, and then March, 45, ayun, nakuha na natin. So, it depends kung ano yung i-declare natin dito. So, dahil uh, nag ang sinelect ko lang po is from here to here, D14 and F14 na kailangan ko mag-add kasi ang buong table natin is uh, simula din sa C column. Okay? So, reveal natin. Yes. Yan. Alright. So, okay po ba ang ating training? So, kung medyo mabilis, okay, ulitin lang po natin dito para yung pinaka-basic lang po natin. Again, equals VLOOKUP lookup value, ano yung hahanapin natin dito? Of course, it needs to be in a row format. Okay? So, February or March, here, ito gagamitin natin. Table array, 
the entire table, of course, tama. Column index, pang ilang column yung hahanapin natin. So, let's say, ang gusto natin is column 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 column, comma, and then exact match. Enter. Ayan siya, 77. So, we selected uh, March, and then 77. Column 6. Alright? So, we're gonna look for H lookup naman. So, ang kabalik, ang, um, ang V lookup is more on a vertical lookup. H lookup stands for horizontal lookup naman po. So, sa ganitong exercise, o yan, kung mapapansin mo, January, February, March, we're gonna look for specific row naman. Kabalik ta siya. Kung column yung hinahanap natin sa ating V lookup, sa H lookup, rows naman po. Alright, so how are we gonna do that? We want to look for February, okay, sa row 4, which is to. Starting from dun sa column header natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, row 4. So, dapat ang maging output natin is 100. Okay, so guys, samahan nyo ko, equals H lookup, lookup value, that's February, tama. Table array, the entire table including po yung ating header. Huwag po natin kakalimutan. Kama, row index. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. You may type in 4 or just refer to a specific cell like this. F94, um, then comma, and then false exact match. Ayan. And then enter. Ayan, boom. And ito na siya. Nakuha natin yung February row 4 natin. So, let's say palitan natin siya ng January and then gawin natin siyang 1 or 2. Ito siya. Ayan. Kuha na natin siya. So, yan po si H lookup natin. Alright. So, what we're going to do in here is again is i-apply natin itong two-way lookup naman natin sa um ating H lookup. Okay? So, we want, parang binaliktad lang natin siya kanina. So, it's the same thing. Um, gagamit lang po tayo ng match. Okay? So, again, let's try that one. H lookup. Lookup value, January. Okay. January. Um, comma. Actually, okay. Okay. Table array natin is ito. Okay. Kama. So, let's say uh, we're gonna look for inya, which is ito. Uh, this time, we're gonna use match, which is lookup value natin. Ito. Uh, inya. And then, kama. Lookup array natin is ito. Yan. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, tinanang natin muna. Kung hindi gumana, let's try. Post. Ayan. So, correct natin kung mali. Okay, 50. So, January, inya, 50. Oh, tama siya. Let's say February. Let's say we're gonna look for Jojo. Okay, February, Jojo, we have 90. Ayun, tama po siya. Again, we're gonna reveal that one. Ito, magkakaroon po kayo ng idea kung paano natin gagawin itong HLOOKUP. Two-way lookup na po siya. Okay? So, example 2. Uh, what else? Um, okay, may two-way lookup. Isang mabilisan lang po. Equals HLOOKUP. Ang inahanap po natin value ay A. Tama. Select po natin to Of course, we're gonna apply the formula here. We need to make sure na fix po yung ating range natin. Kasi i-apply na natin siya pababa. Okay? Kama, row index. So, we're gonna use much. Ang lookup value natin is yung fruit, which is itong C154. Kama. And then, yung range po natin na ito. Again, dahil i-apply natin, F4. Then, Kama. Ayan. And then, zero. And then, yung exact match po natin. 
enter. Okay. Apple 500. Ayan. Tama siya. So, try natin. I-drag yung ating formula. Okay. A, mango. A, and then mango worth 250. B, apple. B, apple for 50. Ayan. So, yun lang po siya. Um, remember na pag magpo-formulate kayo, medyo para ma-lessen ma po yung ating mga errors sa ating mga formulas, make sure na first lang po lagi ang ating uh, pagpo-formula. Alright? So, I think we're done with the VLOOKUP.